How do I want to do this? I guess I keep some fear against Hunter. I guess I kept this a dark bomb, um, knife juggler and huffer if he gets it. I was thinking of just playing Sunfear and pressuring him, but because I have a second one, it's just I still feel pretty good about saving and just tapping. kind of a weird decision. I have to decide between dark bombing this guy or not playing void caller. I think I'm gonna play void caller and, and trade here. I have a Malganus. It's a little bit annoying if he plays a, a secret here but I figure if he does that I'm just gonna play Sun Fury and then since this is gonna protect my Sun Fury with the taunt I'm just gonna use my Sun Fury to proc the secret. Oh man, okay, I guess I'm doing it anyways. This could be mid-range hunter and I'll have better owl targets like high main, but it makes it really awkward if I leave it up because of Houndmaster. And also if I just attacked it, I don't know have two 1-1s one left over. I want to taunt this guy because Owl is really weak to Unleash the Hounds. So this way at least the Void Caller protects my Owl from Unleash the Hounds. Hopefully he does not have a Owl because then I would get Malganus and then I can just Argus up Malganus. Certainly getting awkward for me. I think I'm in really bad shape if he plays high main. Actually, I have this Dark Bomb move. I get a feeling that's not my best move though. Dark Bomb Hellfire. I do use the, all my source of taunt, but against mid range turner, it's more about board control. The good thing is, my, my minions trade good against the the hyenas, a 2 3 and a 3 4 after, or, or even this guy. So basically, if I played Dark Bomb plus Hellfire last turn and then he plays Dr. Boom, I think that's really bad. Okay, that works out fine for me. Probably should tap first. <laughs> if I tap first, I would have got BGH. But I wonder if that would have been even the best move. I can still play these two next turn. I'm not greedy enough to tap plus play Void Caller and, and Dark Bomb. I think it's too risky without the Sludge Belcher out and taking more damage. And it works out better a lot of times. It's like greedier, but because I have like a mana curve next turn, I can just play both. Hey, 
Hey Strife Crow, listen, I'm Blaze again. I have to know, aliens, are they out there? Good luck in getting number one. Well, to answer this honestly, from my viewpoint, basically when I was when I was younger, I was like 100% sure that there were aliens out there. Because it only makes sense with how big the universe is, but... Lately I've been doing some like reading, um... It's just like with the rate of growth, like the rate of expansion of technology. Basically, like if there were an alien civilization out there, it's very likely that um, they would already expand it throughout the whole universe. Like I've been reading some articles about that as well. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Wait, was that too risky what I did? I don't die to kill command, I only die to owl. If I heal up... Yeah, that seems better. I think I probably messed up. Should've played BGH with my extra mana. If I played Dr. Ben, I would die to owl. <laughs> well, I don't know. The answer about aliens, it's, it's, it's tough to say. I don't know. I did read somewhere that, like, with how fast technology expands if you if they were even like a little bit ahead of us like say a million years it's possible that they would expand it throughout the whole universe like another civilization it's just kind of weird that like we don't see anything i think this is the cards i'm keeping it might be a little bit weird i think i might want to go a little bit lower mana curve too but these are really good cards against mech mage if it's mech mage mech mage runs a lot of two threes for hellfire it's like perfect even better than three twos, because three twos do more damage before you hellfire. Perfect, picking up the second demon. Well, it's definitely a mech mage. Oh wow, that's good. At least I didn't play Mech Warper. Um, there are scary minions that can come out here, like Spider Tank. I should build Hellfire regardless, so Spider Tank is not nearly as bad as some of the four drops, I guess. Oh, that's not really true. It's almost the same. In fact, <laughs> it's probably better for me if he drops Pilot Shredder here than Spider Tank. Yeah, this is scary. I took so much damage with this tap tap blind. I almost feel like I should've just played Sun Fury, but... Okay. I guess it's too far behind on board as mech mage come back the only way i can lose which is entirely likely is just fireballs to the face and frost bolts unfortunately i didn't have an earlier turn pull a void color so i can try to get out malganus oh wow i'm pretty happy about that Because I felt like one of the only ways I can lose is just Frost Bolts and Fireballs. With two Frost Bolts being gone, I don't think he can win anymore. It's too easy for me to play around two Fireballs with a low theb. Like if it just Fireballs me in the face here. Oh no. Well, it's not 
the biggest deal, honestly, but... I'm not sure if, if just load that is, is safer here than playing Belcher. I think it's around the same. Basically, if it didn't stealth, I could try to pull up my Malganus. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> One off from Hellfire. Oh well. Two, three, four, five, six. I think it would have been same whether, whether to tap or not. It doesn't make a big difference. Regardless, I can play Melganus next turn, and I don't see him surviving anyways next turn. I got all my demons, but no void caller. <laughs> it's a pretty tough question. Like, do aliens exist? Oh, interesting. Death lore. Okay, so this must be the the priest that. Ch the Chinese priests, because I think I had Death Lords. I'm looking at the list now. That's probably good to give me a better idea of what I'm playing against. Two light bombs is something very scary against uh, my deck. Also, two deaths. So I'm trying to think how I would win two villains chosen. Interesting. It's like a, kind of a board control deck with some board clear as well. Zombie Chow. Wait, does it have Alcanai? Oh, there's no circle in this deck. That's why I was like, how does it fit so much stuff in? Okay, I don't think he can beat me. Wait, what just happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was confusing myself because I thought his Death Lord died too. And I was wondering how he killed both my demon and the the other minion. I'm gonna load that here, force him to overcommit, then shadow flame next turn. He does get a heal off and draw one card. I don't think that's that big of a deal. Yeah, so the reason why I don't think he can win is uh, there's no way for him to beat Draxus with this deck. Even though he actually can kill every single one of my minions. Because he has two light bombs and two deaths. There's no burst in this deck. I was scared that there's Alkanai Zombie Chow. That way I can lose. But because there's no Alkanai, it's purely board control plus a lot of removal. So there's no way for him to beat Draxus. All I need to do is avoid pulling out Draxus from this Void Caller. I might not even play the Void Caller. My goal is actually to play Drax on turn 9 and have control going into 7 and 8. Okay, so the deck that I sold, that I got linked, doesn't have Dr. Boom. A little bit more unsure of what I'm playing against now.
It could be just that people are gonna run that card anyways, just change it. That's pretty unlikely, he's only, only running one Trinkmeister in this deck. Me burning the Shadow Flame was really bad. Now it's hard for me to make a comeback, and I can't actually play a Drax if I'm behind. I have no time for I was too scared of the Death Lord and trying to kill it with the, with the Shadow Flame. Oh, wait. It is just that deck. The Doctor Boom is a, th a thought stolen card. That's that's what it was. I'm trying to turn my mic down. I think it's a little bit too sensitive. This is very risky, but because I still have this heal bot and Belcher as like source of taunt and I'm in really bad shape, uh, I think I'm going for the risk. He has 11 damage, but I think it actually is that deck and there shouldn't be any burn in the deck. Still looking pretty bad for me though, because even without burn, this is going to be a really tough game for me to win. And another reason why is there's not a move that's significantly safer than the Draxus move. I'm not sure if I can win. Oh, okay, so I, I have this Sun Fury. I think I'm dead though. <laughs> I got three orange for Venerable, Sun Song. Kind of missed that. What kind of tea are you drinking? I'm drinking green tea. Also, I got a two dollar nation from Zelly. If you're the predator, how many aliens could you take on at the same time with only crow fists? Honest answer. Um, probably around zero. <laughs> I haven't really seen the movies. I don't, I don't really know what's stronger. I think predator is stronger actually. This looks like a pretty good hand. I'll skip everything. There's no way I can I can wait and and save this Sun Fury for like Molens, especially against Face Hunter. Just gonna taunt this guy up. I'm expecting that's like explosive trap. My hand is actually really good. Outside of this Hellfire, kind of a useless card. My other cards are really good. Wow, it's actually Snake. A couple of face hunters do use a snake trap because they like to go face and then they just let you trade into their minions. I died a kill command if I play the the Belcher here and Owl, I guess. It's actually pretty tough. Problem is, I feel like if I play Healbot, I won't be able to win because I'll go to 15. Actually, it's probably okay. Let's just try it. I don't die to Owl 
Kill Command, the, the thing is I probably still lose anyways, if he has a Kill Command in his hand. Because this is already 8 damage on board. Kill Command, 13 damage. All I need is a one, one hero power the next turn. Okay, I'm gonna have to trade like this. Yeah, so he has just explosives left. Since I've already used my heal bomb, it'll be a long time until turn 9 as well for Draxus or Malganus. The only other healing I have is Earthen Ring, which might not be enough anyways. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and take a risk and go face here plus Belcher. If I trade and play Lothab here, hits me down 6, pings me down 4. There's, it's impossible for me to win that way. So I do lose to Owl like this and Kill Command, whereas like if I put Lothab, I, I probably don't lose to Kill Command yet, but I, like, there's no way I would win the game. Since it's pretty much a race at this point, with me having no more healing until turn 9. And there's no one surviving. I have, to, I have to proc explosive eventually. Well, I mean, I could not proc explosive ever in, until turn 9, and hopefully I get Draxus, but that's pretty hard because it means I never get, get to tap either. Okay, that's enough to kill a Belcher. Hopefully his last two cards are trash cards, like, uh, I mean, just stuff that's not fast. Uh, I'm gonna have to go for a tie. Let me check for Freezing Trap, which I know it's not Freezing Trap, because I proc the Mad Scientist and wait, actually it could have been, depends if it's in his hand. Well, oh, it's not, not, not the worst result.